We're, we got the theme song. No! Flip! I <laughs> the yes! Oh my god. Oh, this is already a mess. Oh, hell yeah. Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello everyone. You just uh, first of all, you just got Rick rolled. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, second of all, uh, welcome to the first episode of uh, the Good Fight Podcast. Well, you know the the first episode of the Good Fight Podcast to Electric Boogaloo. Um, as you may know, uh, there was a previous iteration of the podcast that I used to host with Twitchy, and I'm here to pass down the metaphorical torch to your two new hosts. And to hype you up a little bit to what you're going to hear today, it's going to be really fun. So let me tell you a little bit of what you're going to see uh, on the following weeks on this podcast. You're going to have a lot of interviews. Uh, you're going to be discussing a lot of uh, recent events. It's going to be uh, really fun. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff that really goes with community interaction. It's something that I'm really glad uh, uh, they're introducing because in the last last podcast, uh, Ken Fucci kind of just rambled to himself and we, we roasted him a little bit. One time he just read his entire retirement post with dramatic music on the background while giggling and it was it was funny but you know this is better so you're gonna have a lot of fun and i'm gonna leave you now with uh, your two new hosts uh, mc and chaos so yeah take it away guys thank you much window thank you moon um without moon i don't think that there would be a president for this and uh he's also like someone who definitely encouraged us and and helped us get this going so we're really happy to have him Pass down the torch, metaphorically. Uh, yeah, welcome to the Good Fight Podcast. Most of you know who we are, but if you're new or unsure, uh, I'm Chaos, and that's MC, uh, two of your friendly neighbourhood moderators. So, okay, just so everyone knows, um, this is like a trial run. We, we may run longer than future episodes, we may not have future episodes. It's gonna have hiccups, it's gonna have things that go wrong, and, um... We do want to make sure that we get it, like, even better in the future. <sighs> oh, hi, MC. Um, so, Chaos has kind of informed you about uh, what we're kind of about to do. Um, the disclaimer that, you know, this is a trial run. It's probably going to be a little longer than future episodes as we get the hang of things. Um, things might change, so don't look at this as the president. Like, it's a pilot episode. And if you're invited to talk, I want everyone to keep in mind that the rules for the server still apply in the podcast so there's no swearing or i'm going to try really hard to keep myself in check on that one um don't abuse your ability to talk as a way to uh troll and this goes for all podcasts in the future thank you for the luck i'm gonna need it um we'll be keeping an eye on main as we chat as you can probably kind of tell from how me and chaos are responding to things in main um and we welcome comments and questions and we might pick up on things you've said or answer your questions. We want to be interactive um, just as long as we are continuously moving. Um, so Chaos is going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be talking about. Yeah, so we've recently finished off the RPS Summer Olympics, which was great. Strike Force activity is like buzzing right now. And um, we've also just finished up... <laughs> buzzing? It's buzzing. <laughs> it's like a bee. We finished up the successful invasions oh, of Oasis and Ascent, winning them from uh, ETCP and Wild Ninjas, and we have our new tube of the week. But before that... Uh, yeah, we have a brief message from HCOM about internet safety, so um, we're not going to get too deep into this. You guys already saw the announcement uh, about the CPR breach, but we just want to remind everyone once again, please change your passwords if you haven't already, if you're not taking it seriously. Um, we really do recommend that you do that. Um, and also sponsored by HCOM, uh, your friendly neighborhood leaders, as well as make sure that you're using your, uh, not using any personal information when you sign up for stuff. So I highly recommend making separate email accounts for anything that's, um, you know, like unimportant, not your bank account or anything. Um, so this isn't like something we want anyone to worry about. It's just, you know, internet safety is important. And in general, you should just know what to do. So uh, also you can reach out to any mods or HCOM to help you. Um, and actually people in Strikeforce should also be available for you to talk to because they should all be very internet safe. The Strikeforce is important. It's important to be that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, MC and I are gonna try and uh, talk and sort of guide the conversation. 
There are times we're going to be talking on our own, <laughs> but <laughs> thanks, Fliff. Um, Shut up, Fliff. There are going to be times where we're going to have other people in and talking. Um, yeah, we're going to be asking questions, yeah. and we don't mind tangents, but we'll be we'll be muting and unmuting them. But there are some there are some ground rules we got to follow. Yeah, we want uh, we don't want things dragging on for too long. We want to keep it moving, and um, if if you are taking too long, we might interrupt etc so apologize for that in advance yeah or we might end the topic suddenly or like we might move on just don't take it personally yeah <laughs> okay um we're gonna oh it's my we're gonna try and address questions to certain people and um focus on the conversation that people are more involved in i read that wrong that's fine whatever so we're, if we're gonna start off with olympics and okay, so I, right before I say that, actually, um, this was something that I forgot to add beforehand because I didn't think it was going to be an issue. But I, I'm a little concerned. Do not record this if you do not have express permission to do so. I saw some talk about that in main chat, and I don't want that happening. If you don't have permission, do not record. You will get in trouble. And that is the end of that. Yeah. Uh, I don't care if you need money. Stay poor. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so we just finished our 2019 Summer Olympics. Uh, that was really fun. We It was Toy Story themed. And uh, if you missed it, the teams were Team Claw. So wait, do we have Alti here? Did he make it? Is he here now? Oh man. Well, he might have to join us a little late. So we'll uh, move on to Team Infinity. So we'll be bringing uh, the team leaders into the chat. And so we're going to welcome Queenie Liz out here. Um, Liz, I'm going to let you unmute yourself. So, uh, she was our Buzz Lightyear, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was. <laughs> um, in addition to that, we had Team Taters. So, uh, we have Pookie, who Chaos uh, should be unmuting right now. Yes. Um, and uh, he was Mr. Potato Head. Is Alex Mrs. Here Potato well? Head to you. Mrs. Potato Head. I am so sorry. I'm unmuting Alex right now, who was Mr. Potato Head. I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> I said hi. Oh, my bad. Um, and then lastly, we have Team Yeehaw, and we have Klein unmuted. Uh, 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 or not or, unmuted. Okay, she's, she's, she has muted no, herself, so she might not be able Hello. to... Oh, there we go. Hey. Hi, hi Klein. Hi. So, uh, I'm really excited to have you guys come talk about this a little bit more, because I think we all kind of experienced it from our different perspectives, but it's kind of fun to kind of get like a brief rundown of things. Um, and maybe here's some behind the scenes things. Um, we already know who won, Team Claw, fight the good fight. Um, and uh, we have a couple of questions for you guys. Yeah, so uh -huh. Infinity like got a massive gain in the middle of the Olympics, which was just super interesting. And then Claw really took it at the end. Team leaders, what would you say was the best event for your teams? Alti's in. Oh, Alti's um, here. Welcome, Team Claw leader Alti Penguin J, real quick. Hey, thanks. Glad to be here. Uh, always glad to rep Team Claw. Uh, the best team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in a order of uh, placement when we do these questions. So we're going to start with Alti, go with Liz next, and uh, then Pookie, then Klein, I believe, right? Pookie and Alex and Klein, yeah. then Klein. So the first question, Chaos, will you repeat it once more? Uh, what event did your team do the best in? Ooh, all right, all right. So like, overall, our best event was like uh, was Snowball Fight. Just overall, um, as a as a collective unit, uh, I I will say uh, I think everyone everyone really enjoyed Snowball Fight, regardless of placement. It was really it was really fun. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Do you think that was our best? That was our best event. Uh, shortly followed by Pizza Tron <laughs> when we uh, came back. That event was really late. I think that everyone really loved Snowball, regardless of how they did. Honestly. Shout out to to Mishka on Pizza Tron, uh, carrying team claw on that one. Oh. Face the chat. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna sub in Wolves for Klein real quick because Wolves was next up. I'm totally okay with that. Also, I really, really quick want to say we have a couple of CPA admin in the chat. Um, I believe Mima and uh, DMT are in here, so everyone can do a quick hello, which was exciting. Is exciting. 
Um, okay. Yeah, Wolves infinity. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, Altia's uh, Team Claw's best events were Snowball, followed by Pizza Tron. Liz, what did you? What do you think uh, Team Infinity did well in? Personally, I did amazing at dance contests. I carried that. <laughs> You yeah, yeah, no, no. So, but I, yeah. but um, I think generally I was really surprised because I didn't really find the scenes running in the events overall. And before I even did dance contest, uh, quite far in the lead. So we had a pretty stable thing across. I mean, what were games? Card Jitsu, we did well mm -hmm. in, and that was also good. So I think. Yeah, I mean, we 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 did we were close at snowball. We came joint gold in some on Sunday, Georgia. That, that was really I tense. It was really close. It was tight, and I think it kind of got to the end, and it was kind of like who's who's got the most red left? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely I think, think that, that that was a really cool aspect of the competition was just that like you guys like took that lead, and then. I think you made Team Claw so nervous that we were just like busting it to get to get our our uh, lead back. You do see that happen a lot, though. You see that like at the Winter Olympics, it's almost like sometimes the underdogs are more willing to try towards the end of the week because when you're in the lead to begin with, you're kind of like it's almost like you get a bit cocky, and you're like, oh, we're in we're in the lead. I don't need to attend, but the thing is, you do because it's just, everything can change. And so, for future Olympic teams, that's kind of the advice I'd give: always like my team will be fine because like one day can change everything. Right. We're gonna ask Team Taters what their best event was next. So, Pookie and Alex, can you somehow jointly explain? Is he alive? Yeah, I'm here. I was gonna let you go first. Okay. Um. Well, I personally, I think Taters did best in card jitsu. Pookie, you want to build off that? Get... Yeah. Oh, I sure can. Well, for card jitsu, we got for EU and US, we got gold, and then uh, your boy himself got bronze and on. So that was very good. And then another event we did pretty good in was sled racing. For EU, I believe, when I beat Cheese. <laughs> um, yes, you definitely beat him. That was uh, a close battle. Didn't you guys have to uh, replay? We played one game and I lost, and I don't like losing, so I said best of three, and he agreed to it. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, why did you let that happen? <laughs> nice. Yeah, Cheese, this is the first I'm hearing of this. <laughs> <laughs> Why Jesus can I? Like the, I'm gonna. I got his permission to join, so I can ask him for his feedback on that very quickly. Um, well, uh, would you like to so, comment on so, that move? Uh, yeah, I do remember the last five seconds of the third match. Um, it was very close. I do remember that, but um, I'm, I'm glad we did it anyway. I know I got second place, but it was it was really fun, and I think the people really got a kick out of it. So everyone really enjoyed it. I, I think we and did all the, the troops, and that's what matters. Yeah, here. overall the better team won, so that's that's what happened. I can't believe you got beaten by a potato. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I showed up, Liz. So like, yeah. Oh, gonna be that fun. is <laughs> <laughs> the cocky attitude. Ouch. Uh, thank That's you for the commentary, hurt. Cheese. Okay, so um, I th we have other co questions. So um, I wanted my personal questions about um, kind of like I obviously we can't all see everyone's team chats, um, and so I was really interested to hear what the dynamic was in each team chat that uh, I wasn't a part of, and I feel like other people were kind of curious about that as well. Um, I know that like Alti is gonna build on this um, as soon as like I finish. But um, for example, like for me, I really think that Team Claw was pretty wholesome, um, and that was kind of our aesthetic. But yeah, Alti, take it away. So okay, so how I would like to describe this is uh, Team Claw. It was the the Hufflepuff of the teams. If Hufflepuff <laughs> were good. Somebody, people don't know what a, oh, I hope you're joking when you say what a Huffle, Hufflepuff is. Do we have to explain mm. that? It's a Harry um, Potter house. Not, if you don't look know, it you're up. Just, you're Harry sad. Claw, Team Claw was like pretty, 
shut up star team claw was pretty pretty good at like being like super it was a super tight-knit like by the end uh community like i think like everyone got to know each other pretty well right. my objective setting out was just pretty much let everyone have a good time it's olympics have a party all right uh liz well how would you say team infinity functioned functioned you know what i meant we had quite a nice little empowerment i do i'm i mean i think you all know as a commander i'm I'm someone that's like, I'm a big fan of empowerment speeches. He was also in there going, come on guys, let's do this. I mean, I think you kind of saw me do it across all the teams. Like I'd go into all the chats and I'd ping like the team role and be like, you guys need to do this for your team. So I was trying to kind of do it across all the teams but also my own. But yeah, I think um, quite a supportive team within. So even when, you know, things didn't go as planned, we were always like supporting each other in the chat and it was just nice at team hype sounds great i felt that oh shut up Alex. i felt the infinity was uh it was it was, it was quite competitive in their chat Poor we Alex. we really felt we wanted to win i don't know i felt it was quite tense most of the time well, so we had, we, i usually only went in it for to be like come on guys like we can do this type thing so i didn't generally chat in it much I'm quite sad if that's what you got from it. I mean, was it competitive in a negative light? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I think competitive was something that we all felt at least somewhat. So I, I think that that's a good thing because, you know, it's not Olymp it's Olympics, you know, we all want to win. So Alex and Pookie, can you tell us what your chat was kind of like? Well, I handled it, you know, pretty, pretty okay. lax. My policy was if anyone sends a meme, I will pin it as showing in me now. <laughs> good policy. So, you know, we had a lot of fun there. I had some uh, fan art. Going. We had some fan art of all the team leaders. And it was, it was, you know, it was a pretty tight-knit group of people. We were just the lovable third-place team, and I'm fine with that. Alrighty. And then, lovable uh, being in quotation. <laughs> potatoes. I love potatoes. Um, Wolves, can you tell yes. us anything about Yeehaw Chat? To be honest, Yeehaw Chat was often quite dead. <laughs> Um, it, 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 like, people people only talked when there was an event. I mean, I didn't really see much other talk. I I love Yeehaw, but uh, you know, the enthusiasm sometimes lacked. I did try my best to hype up hype up the Yeehaws, you know, get them Yeehawing. Why would not more of you coming online just to like flex the horses? <laughs> I just want to say, Klein flexed her Hello. horse so much throughout planning this event. Throughout planning Olympics, oh, Klein, Klein, yeah, oh. I wanted to see that from everyone. Give us a second. Like, Klein, 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 here. Klein, Klein, Klein say something about your horse. She was talking. Klein. Klein died. Klein died. She muted Klein. herself again. <laughs> um. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there she is. Hi. All right. I have to say, even though the chat was at times dead, we would always like stay positive and like always look towards the next event, even though we'd always like you know keep on not placing. But, and I did flex my horse a lot because I really liked my horse. So I think we had, although not the best placing, a, 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 a nice chat, you know? I'm glad it was That's positive it. at the very least. Um, I just want to like break in really fast. Pookie just pointed, po posted something that I was going to uh, have us post anyway. But um, the fan art of uh, the five of you guys, um, can you guys repost it just so everyone can see it one more time? Yeah, that you already did. Yeah, that that was really cool. Um, can someone remind me who drew that again? It was uh, Blaze. Blaze and Blaze. Blaze. Shout out to From, Blaze. Uh, Team Taze, awesome. Um, how did you guys feel about that? You guys were like basically they pe someone made art of you guys fan art. I'm printing that off and putting it on my wall. Like that is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I feel I feel really proud and honored to be in that picture. You know, I've never it's seen such a great rendition yeah. of my horse. <laughs> really cute. I was I was about to point out. Uh, I I really enjoy the fact that the top two teams are holding hands in it, and that's just how it ended up. Um, it's still really <laughs> cute though. I I enjoyed the I enjoyed the being being represented in that. It's such an honor. It's so cool. Yeah, I love that you guys are holding hands, Liz and Alti sitting in a tree. Um, what? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I know I, it was a joke. Um, I, I want to also point out what Moondog just said. If you make fan art, HCOM members are legally obligated to put it on their fridge, so make more fan art. No, yeah, do it. have to pin it on their fridge. I actually will pin it on my fridge. If you make fan art of me, I will put it on my fridge. It will happen. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, you just watch. Our fridge is going to be full of RPS. <laughs> Chaos, will you ask a question that I am... Um, yeah, okay, so... We, we all saw the Olympics from, like, our side. Um, what kind of prep goes into, like, sorting all this out? Like, obviously don't leak stuff, but, um... Oh, what God. kind of stuff goes on behind the scenes? It'll probably be our last question for this. Yeah. I mean... I kind of want Liz to take this question. Yeah, Liz, you answer this one. <laughs> kind of... We knew it was coming up, and we kept pinging in the, uh, in the chat we don't talk about. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> chat. What chat? Chat. And, um, <laughs> we need to do it. But we kind of, we did really leave it to last minute this year. We knew that. And usually we go with um, summery type names or wi like obviously winter's like Christmassy type names. Um, and so I just thought this year, I don't want to do that. I want to do something that's um, different. So I, pick, I picked Toy Story and suggested it. And I did get like bought on for Marvel mm -hmm. and um, Star Wars. But the main fun of being like in the Olympic teams and being a captain is trying to actually the costumes because it's really like you have to make them. And I feel like because there's already a Star Wars costume and there's already like Marvel costumes and we would have just picked like the Captain America costume or whatever. Yeah, like, Captain like, America uh, hot take is the least important Marvel superhero. Yeah, <laughs> so I just feel like... <laughs> We wanted to, I wanted us to really like have to work for it. I mean, Buzz Lightyear was pretty easy, apart from the wings. And I remembered we wore the the, the sled on the back or whatever it is. Snowboard. Yeah, the snowboard um, <laughs> sled on the back. Um, nice. Yeah, we wore that at the Winter Olympics, one of the teams did. So I just put that on and it looked perfect. Whereas um, some of the other teams, I think, what was the hardest one? I think probably Claw, maybe. Mm. Um, Alien yeah. was pretty easy. Yeah, but it also wasn't because we were struggling about the, the blue. Um, I have someone who wants to say something really quick, and I'm going to let him because I think this is totally fair. Cheese, welcome back for a hot minute. Okay. Say your piece. All right. So what Liz is not owning up to right now is that Toy Story was her idea, and like she deserves full like recognition for that because we all, well, not all of us, but a lot of us went against her on it, and we all kept arguing her about it. But she came in one day and she was like, guys, we're doing Toy Story and it's going to be so good. And like, these are my plans. And like, she had really good ideas and it turned out to be like really good Olympics and really unique too. Cause like the idea to dress up as the characters is really cool. So like, I feel like you need to give her our rebel commander awesome applause because she like, it was a really good idea, really fun Olympics. And I know you all enjoyed it. So big applause for Liz. Woo! Okay. You can big here. applause for Liz. Yeah. Oh. Infinity Owens. Oh, All right. Get out of here. Wow. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, the last question. No, I'm gonna ask that. Um, so, um, I want to settle this one for all, for all because we already mm. talked about this a little bit in main and in suggestions. Um, and I just want like basically like I'm. I understand this, but I know that there are some people that still kind of don't get why we used Oasis because it's so glitchy, but I want you guys to address it and just settle it once and for all and understand this just mm. for the future because there are going to be more Olympics and, um, you know, we'll probably use Oasis again. So, okay, so we use, we've always used Oasis as far as, as long I've been in RPF two years and um, we've always used Oasis. So for Olympics, and I think the main reason is for the costumes and the fact that you can change the hue. But yeah, do we use a like as Biffa said in uh, May? We used it because most CPR games didn't work, mm -hmm. and the, even when they did the release of Card Jitsu, it was really glitchy and just didn't work at all. And um, this is because it was more reliable to begin with. And I know now it's not really that way around, but you don't get the snowball battle. Yeah, the snowball battle was so cool. I would have been really sad if it yeah. wasn't there. You don't get snowball and. Um, you also don't get the costumes and stuff because you can really change the hue. So even if you find an item that isn't, you know, so maybe the item's green, you can try and change it yellow. And, and I definitely think it's kind of hard with the leg. Um, I definitely think that the uh, the whole point of uh, Olympics is for some of the, those more fun aspects like the uniform and the snowball fight. And, you know, like the kind of the point would have been defeated without it, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I think part of the fun is the dressing up and not having to wear 
uniform as as much as we love our RPF uniform um, and you get to change everything like it's the snowball color the messages the name glow like you can just really right. make it personal and um, you can all put like your your status on your profile as like what team you're in and I feel like it just completely changes it and makes it really collective and even though the community on Oasis isn't exactly welcoming to say the least you can just turn off mm -hmm. the the rude words and it's okay. enjoy it <laughs> anyway exactly um so we're gonna move on from this but before we do i'm gonna let each of you have kind of your last piece uh and i'm gonna go in reverse order now so that we end with team claw um just because you know uh, i think that's respectful as far as the placements go so uh, i'm gonna start with team yeehaw is Klein still here? Klein, do you have you do you have the ability to left want to say anything as well as Wolves? Uh, is Klein here? Or... She she's listening. She might not be able to speak. I say just go for it for now. Yeah. Shout out team Yeho. We uh tried our best, you know, we had the enthusiasm, we had the good troops uh running up uh all the Yeho's. We <laughs> you know, although we didn't get the placement we wanted, you know. It was a good performance, and I appreciate everyone who uh, turned up to the Olympics this uh, this summer. Can I get a real quick? There's a snake in my boot. No. Okay. <laughs> All, right, bye. All right. Bye. Wow, what a letdown. Yeah, no team spirit there. Team <laughs> The next person is well, people are Alex and Pookie. Do either of you? Well, who wants to start? Other Alex, Alex sounds like you got to start. Um, give a quick shout out to your team and say goodbye. Klein, go ahead, do it. Hello, hello. There's a snake in my boot. Thank you, Klein. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you, Klein. <laughs> All right, Alex, you can go ahead. I'm sorry. Alex? All right. All right. I'm going to take over here. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, I'm going to take over then. Shout out to Corster for making memes. Shout out to Playworks Age 4. I love him. Great kid. Shout out to Blaze for making fan art. Shout out to uh, DMT, Mima, and I don't think Greeny, but still Greeny for being here. Cuties. <laughs> Shout out to Team Taters for being cool. Thanks, Pookie. Spe specifically Playworks H4, though. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shout outs. And we're going to say goodbye to Pookie. Thank you for coming. And then uh, we have Liz. Um, I'm going to let Cheese talk to you once. He can. Infinity <laughs> owns, yeah. Um, and to Infinity and beyond, I feel like. Shout out to everyone, honestly. Like it was, it was, it was great. Yeah, I got tense, like, but it was, it was a good tense. Like it was a good, like the team bonded, banded together, and I really, I really was happy with how it turned out. And you know, we didn't win, but it's okay. We had a good time. That's what matters. Have fun, had, have a good fight. We had a strong team. We tried. Hell yeah, strong. we did. <laughs> We're second the best, and. uh Alex, you got a hairy chest. <laughs> Thank you for those those words of wisdom. I loved it. And then finally, Alti Penguin J, my captain, my captain. Please Hello, it is take me. it away. <laughs> it is me, Alti Penguin J. Um, I already I already wrote a speech in the in the uh, what you call it the the results post. Um, <laughs> um, but to to brief briefly briefly recap, um, I'm just, I'm so I'm so happy I did this. This is the first one that I've done. Thank you to everyone in every team for making it great, for making it enjoyable, for coming out. All of you had a good time as well. And honestly, uh, shout, shout out to everyone on Team Claw for showing up, for giving us the numbers at like every event. Um, it was truly a team effort in a lot of those uh, matches. Yeah. A lot of people showed up to most events. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shout out everyone, but like literally everyone like gave, did their part. Yeah, it I was honestly together. very surprised. <laughs> Proud of literally all of you. Everything. Cool, thank you. Um, I, yes, thank you, LT. I'm also going to quick shout out to Mish because he carried uh, a couple of those games. And um, he, LT's so right, like our turnout was crazy. Also, shout out to playing Find 4 on spam just to grind coins. Credits. That was, uh, that was a time. Um, that was awesome. Uh, that was our first segment. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast so far. Also, we're going to do a quick no cheating plug. We're not going to like talk about this too deeply again. The still like uh, speaking of Fine 4 and, and uh, some of the other games, um, 
no cheating. It's not fun. Uh, people like HCOM can't figure out what, whether you're doing it or not. There are def definitive signs. It's not fun. And Winter Olympics is going to come around again. And it's just better for everyone and doesn't ruin the fun if you just don't do it. Moondog, I'm going to ignore that you just said that. <laughs> and there will be repercussions. Liz, do you have anything to say on this before we move on? Yeah, um, I was just going to say, kind of just reiterate what you said. Um, we do know when people cheat and it and it's kind of sad i understand when people you want to break the rules because you want you want your team to do well team leaders don't and your team don't want to win knowing that they didn't deserve it don't do it because it not only ruins it for you but it ruins it for your entire team um and there were some teams that could have probably done better had people not cheated and actually just and you know it's because your disqualification means that is that not just you so just be mindful of that yeah i will say that i noticed how absolutely disappointed uh team leads team leaders could get um when someone of their team kind of ruined their score because of that and uh it really really sucks like the whole team just it feels bad and winning may not be everything but you don't want to be the person that ruined it for everyone so we're gonna move on now yeah to our next mini segment. Yeah, um, we're gonna look at this week's Tube of the Week. So, Crazy Head, uh, you are now unmuted. Oh, we're both trying to unmute. <laughs> What's up? Hi. First of Hi, all, crazy. first of all, yeehaw, yee the good haw. <laughs> Some representation here, but what's up? Hi. We got our back. <laughs> In my script, I said, can we get a fight the good fight? And you already said, eat the good haw. It's a good fight and eat the good haw. Do it all. We put some E for effort in there, but, you know, can't change what happens. Winter Olympics. We'll be back. I want to put this to rest really quick. How do you say your name? So when I first made this username in, like, 2006, I was about nine years old. And it was supposed to be crazy head, but with all the people who are not, American slash just don't know how to pronounce it. I don't mind if you call me Krazy, even though that wasn't uh, what I first intended. <laughs> I also hear Krazy, which I don't get that one. Yeah, either. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't get Krazy. It's crazy with two Zs. That's yes. It. Yeah. Thank Zs. you. Zs. <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. Yeah. Two Zs. <laughs> you know I love you. It's fine. Yeah. So I want to ask you a couple of questions about for the week. As does chaos. Yeah. Okay. Were you like expecting to get Trooper of the Week when you got it? Honestly, no, but everyone was kind of hyping it up and I'm not the type of person to assume things either. So like, I didn't want to get my hopes up with it, but I really did appreciate it when I did get it. It was really nice. Cool. Yeah, I love the campaign, campaign, uh, camp the, what is it? Campaign trend. Very yeah, fun. Sure. Very supportive. It's very cute. It, very, it was. Also, ulti for Troop of the Week. What? Next question. How does it feel now that you're Troop of the Week? Like, are you um, feeling, like, validated for all of your hard work? Or, like, do you feel special? <laughs> I do. I feel pretty accomplished, honestly, because I only joined about, like, a month ago. And, honestly, I didn't expect myself to get here at this point. But I do feel pretty validated and somewhat important in a way. Because I am pretty active in the chat and... It's kind of just reassuring that hard work doesn't go unnoticed, kind of. Yeah, I'm glad you feel that way. And you have put in, like, a lot of work. You've been, like, an amazingly active troop. It's it's incredible. Thank you. Yeah. I miss honestly, Rocket. Shout out to Rocket. I, who is I miss me. Rocket. We miss him. Um, as a... Now you made me sad. <laughs> As a um as a mod, um I think that both me and Chaos and and you know the entire like moderating team and HCOM team can say that we really appreciate troops like you that uh you know tend to see like the check at chaotic and keeps a cool head and kind of tries to keep things you know going still. Oh, yeah. like, you definitely assist in that, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. I try to because sometimes it's not even worth like you know when the chat is getting crazy to get involved kind of thing. It's more right. like, you know, keep it leveled type thing. You get it. Crazy gets it. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> cheesy spooky. What is something about you we don't know? Um, 
it's pretty interesting uh I feel like I'm kind of an open book in the group chat when it comes to like asking stuff about me but hmm I think about some fun facts um something really random no one really believes this when I tell them but I went to a really big high school and uh they have badminton as a varsity sport and all I have to say is I placed in counties for badminton my senior year when I was just messing around and did it but fun fact played badminton very cool outside of every other thing that I do but mittens that are bad got it <laughs> damn birdie <laughs> Um, yeah, do you, like do you have any advice for, like, future to be true for the weeks? Any? Honestly, my advice is to not get discouraged if you don't get it when you somewhat expect it to, and to remain active even if you don't get it the first time you want to, and that, uh, jeez, I'm not giving orgo chemistry <laughs> advice. <laughs> um, don't take organic chemistry, that's all I'd say. Anyway to you know keep working hard and to stay active even when you feel discouraged because this is like a pretty nice community and pretty open to a conversation so like you know don't be discouraged and to keep going fight the good fight fight the good fight do we have any first do you have any first aid advice as a as a potential doctor first aid <laughs> advice um Those stay, of us hydrated. Get stay hydrated in this hot temperatures no matter where you are um, I don't know. If you feel sick, take your antibiotics at Tulia when she said she didn't want to take them. Um, you know, stay hydrated, eat well, exercise. Don't forget to go outside, even though RPF is very Let's demanding with your time. <laughs> Value your in real life time. And that's all. I'm always here for medical advice if you need it. Also, oh, Shadow says, Fox is my cousin. Shadow Fox is your yeah. cousin? So we found out through, you know, like those genealogy, like DNA testing things. She told yeah. me that she's a distant relative of Marie Antoinette. And if you don't know who that is, she's a queen. She was the one who like got beheaded. She's famous for saying like, give me cake or something like that. <laughs> My older sister. <laughs> the the back, sorry. It's let them eat cake, but she didn't actually say that. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's what she's like known for, but it's more of like a myth. for like, <laughs> point, Marie But, um... So my older sister did this DNA test and not to get too sciencey and technical, but mitochondrial DNA is through females and you can only get that through female DNA. And since my older sister did it, and I guess Shadow, her mom, someone did it, we found out that we're both relatives of Marie Antoinette. So I guess she's my distant, very distant cousin. Fun fact. That's very, That's cool. very cool. That it was really weird, not gonna lie, but sorry I confused both uh, with my science. <laughs> no, I loved it. Loved it, loved it. I am so glad that we received this um, healthy uh, <laughs> advice that we all need. Like, drink water, oh, which is the most amazing thing in the world. Go outside, maybe. <laughs> Get some vitamin <laughs> D from the sun, guys. Don't target me like this. That's rude. <laughs> What is the outdoors? Uh, healthy advice, yes. So um, I think that wraps up our Troop of the Week uh, segment, but I will really quick want to let you say anything else that you would like to do. Shout outs to anyone you care about, and hmm. then we'll wrap up. Oh, and I don't forget to shout out the good fight. Of course. A few shout outs. One, Rocket for recruiting me. Wish he was here to see this, because I know he'd be pretty proud of me. Some of my first friends in this chat, like Moon, MC. MC actually made me feel the most welcomed here when I was kind oh. of shy with talking in the chat. Um, FLV, my Oasis husband. Um, <laughs> let's see. There's a lot of, there's so many people that I've met in the chat that I really appreciate. So shout out to all of you. Flying you too, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, fight the good fight. There's like 50 of you. What do you want me to shout you? <laughs> oh my, getting demanded. <laughs> Old crazy poopy cheese, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Love you all. All right. Beautiful. Fight um, good fight. Thank you so much, crazy. Thank you for having me. Um, the the chats are really funny right now. You guys are awesome. This has been really fun so far. So I'm glad. The next segment, uh, is invasions. Chaos. I'll let you introduce it. Yeah. So we're gonna be looking at the invasions that we've had. Uh, we've done at the past few days. Um, on Monday. We began the week off with the Olympics closing ceremony, and then we invaded Oasis, just straight off the bat. 
Um, and we also invaded the Wild Ninjas yesterday and got uh, a scent from them. And to go into a bit more depth about why this is so cool, um, we're going to ask uh, Rebel Commander Queenie Liz to just uh, give us a bit of information. Hello. Hi Liz, welcome back. Thank you. Um, so I think our first question is we fought two different armies and while we know a lot about events and stuff like that, we don't always know exactly who we're fighting or what we're up to. So I wanted to ask you who EGCP is and who are the wild ninjas? Who exactly were we fighting? Like what are their defining characteristics? If they have some kind of theme, I don't know, whatever you can tell us. So um, I'm not sure how many of you check the top 10 armies every week. Um, EGCP, um, that stands for the Elite Guardians of Club Penguin. They, um, to us, um, they're the second largest army overall. Um, <laughs> CPA plug! Well, it's not meant to be plug because we're on the, we're, every week we're number one on the top 10 and they're number two. And the then, whole Club Penguin armies, though, like the, um, the general, um, what is it? How, organization? There we go. <laughs> um, is what we're a part of, right? Yeah, so Club Penguin Armies is basically, um, some of the admins are in this chat, basically what they do is there's a map, which I think I've sent to a lot of you, and you watch over the whole of CPA, make sure um, armies are basically being nice to each other, and um, that's kind of what it is. I mean, we mainly have Strike Force run on the CPA, but there is... What they've done is that map was originally created by Commando 717, um, the RPF founder. They've taken that, and that was originally, I think, for original Club Penguin, and they've added CPPSs on it. So you'll notice some of them are CPPSs we just don't go on, which is why it will look like, oh, RPF haven't got much land, but there's one that's just CPR, and I think we own nearly all of it now. It's just, um, is on there as well, which is now ours. And then um, the main big area is the Club Penguin Army's The Game CPPS, which is owned by the CPA, and that's that's just for Strike Force. So, yeah. Very cool. Which and I'm then EGCP us. Elite Guardians of Club Penguin Wild Ninjas. Yeah, um, Wild Ninjas. So um, EGCP are kind of like, because they're, the, I mean, it's kind of like cat and dog. They're second, we're first, we're natural enemies. Not right. Spanish, they're Brazilian. Um, and they're, they're also the second biggest. Yeah, and then there's the Wild Ninjas. Wild Ninjas are just neutral to us. Um, they're just a neutral army. We're not allied with them, we're not enemies with them. Um, they had a CPR territory. We didn't want to go in and completely ruin them. You know, they have, they, I think they have other territories, mm. so it's not kind of like the end of the world. Uh, yeah, We're just snagging up territory for ourselves a little bit, not trying to wreck anyone too hard with our might. Well, that's the thing. Our big army is based on CPR, and it's unfair when we've got um, our armies, and they're just starting out. And like, if you think back in 2007, RPF would have just been starting out. So it's not fair for us to sort of come in and just essentially kill them all, because then that doesn't make it fun for us. If we take over the entire thing, then then no one's going to want to battle us. Right. And, and we'll talk a little bit more about how we're working with that in Strikeforce as well, right? Yeah, so Ulti can expand on that, but that's basically why Strikeforce, ex Strikeforce exists. It's so that we can work within the community. We don't want to kill the community because that kind of shoots ourselves in the foot. Yeah. Um... Another thing that we found quite interesting was uh, the fact that it's DMT you can. Sorry. we uh, we did the invasion of Oasis uh, right after the closing ceremony of the Olympics. Was there a reason for that other than like timing or just to be cool? Well, I mean, it kind of made sense. We're already on Oasis. We were already going to be on Oasis then. We were all gonna be, already going to be having a normal event. We might as well um, have just turned it into an invasion. There's been almost stupid not to use that opportunity because then we're getting everyone to log on again for we can do it another time if we ever wanted to invade oasis yeah we're all there we're all hyped up so that's why we had the 15 minutes before which was kind of just like our opening um our closing ceremony for 15 minutes just doing a couple of tactics um and i was a bit nervous about it because 
we obviously hadn't had a normal event so that everyone was a little out of practice yeah I was kind of like I'm out of practice of leading I mean even it, the ascent invasion I was worried because I'm thinking I can't actually remember what stuff is banned and what isn't <laughs> right it's been Lots over a week yeah that's interesting um in a future podcast we'd love to have you back to discuss like exactly what uh how like difficult leading is like what there are like what kind of things we like there are to remember though i don't want to get too into it right now because you know we don't want to be here for two hours <laughs> which we might yeah. um but i do we do have another i was wondering so i saw this acronym in a couple of the posts and i think People were kind of curious about it, and uh, I know there's not a ton of details you can share, um, but just maybe a brief, uh, like, general summary of what NVA is and what that means. Okay, so NVA is stands for New Viking Alliance, and it's basically just a name that's been given to the alliance of a, a group of armies. So the armies are um, EGCP, Red Rebellion, RFCP, Winter Sars, Green Street Gang, Pizza Federation. I think there's a couple more that kind of creep in every now, but that's what MVA is. It's basically, um, it's EGCP and then all these smaller armies that are almost like protected by EGCP. That's kind of what the whole thing is. So that anytime so these is the dad smaller dad, armies, they, basically, I think, this is kind of where it becomes a bit tricky because you end up with other armies that aren't in the MVA want to battle members of the MVA for land, and then they end up they end up facing EGCP. Yeah. And EGCP is so much bigger than most of them. It's kind of like when Pizza Federation battled us, and there was four of them <laughs> against yeah. the whole of yeah. And and that's kind of what it ends up being like. It ends up being like four versus forty. And as DMT just said, so, that's exactly what the Recon Federation versus Lime Green Army War was. It was just, it ended up being RPF Strike Force versus EGCP every single time. Personal opinion, they just need to say, we don't do allies when it comes to this, but they won't because that's why the Alliance is there. Is that concerning for us? Like, do you think that uh, it makes it tougher or it just puts them on equal ground with us? Um, CPR wise, um, I think maybe for Strike Force, it's kind of like a okay, we're not we're we're a smaller part of our army battling six other armies. In that respect, it's a bit like oh, um, it makes it more difficult, but it's not impossible. The the rest, the main army, is not a concern at all because I mean you saw our event on Oasis. They, all that they had help. They had their allies on Oasis, and they weren't even close. And that's the thing; they get probably not on, and their allies they'd have forty max. We still had fifty. Awesome. Not, so uh, no. I know Alti will talk about this a little more too. But uh, just to like that is really a great like way to like just kind of say, hey, strike force, um, definitely important to. Uh, add on about it um just like you joining is important um if you haven't done that yeah strike force is really important and it's basically our elite force so um yeah we need ulti to speak yeah we'll have a section we'll later into... on all about strike force yeah so. um and ulti will go into that yeah um but yeah strike force is strike force is very important so if you haven't joined already already um there would... Oh, there was one other. There was two more questions. Sorry, my bad. I almost <laughs> thought we were done. Uh, okay. What makes us so strong against our opponents? I mean, we have we have size, that's for sure. But um, are there any like certain things that we do that other armies just can't really compete with? Our size is, I mean, the main thing. But we're also very organised. I mean, I've I have watched other armies lead. Um, even even like Templars, I've seen them lead and shout out to Zinc, it drove me crazy because every single tactic he did it at here ping so it's literally like ping 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 like constantly weird it's probably the only way us. yeah it's the only way he and even like if you see moppia lead moppia don't lead on voice chat which i actually really like um moppia do it and it's really really fun um 
Um, I think we all the... have different ways, and RPF is very, very structured. Sure. We've been very structured, and I think that's why we we do really good because we're quick with tactics. Um, we do a lot of practicing. I think we have far more events than most do. Yeah. Right. I think that also speaks to how some of these armies are pretty new um, and some are more experienced than others. Some are coming back um, with experienced members and others are, you know, like mafia. Yeah. And you, and you do get, you get that. Like I mean, when I joined, we had the Tuba army, which actually Biffa was a member of, uh, shout out. Um, Tuba army was huge and Tuba was like, rival. Tuba was before EGCP even, I think before they even existed. And they were a concern because then they originally they were unorganized and then they got us and they got a Discord server and we were like, oh, they've got a Discord server now. Are they trying to get more organized? But they could never really grow from that. Um and they ended up dying. Like it literally just like one day never appeared again. So right. that's kind of why you just never really know with the smaller armies how it's going to go. One day they could be doing really, really good, and the next day they're, they're just gone. Um, I think we're probably, I think after, especially after rewritten, like when original program shut down, a lot of armies thought that was the end. And the fact that we've stayed so strong, we've kept up before, whereas a lot of the new arm, newer armies, I think, don't have that. And it's something you need to learn. Right. Yeah, our allies, we're trying to help them. Right. Like, our, we kind of see it as like, we're allied with you, but we're also going to help you kind of become bigger as your own army. And then maybe, I mean, I don't see this in like in the near future, but maybe like one day, maybe yeah. you'll see LJ being huge, Mopia being huge. You know, it'd be really nice. Yeah. Battles against each other. That's cool. Um, just to get this final question in really quick um i'm wondering if because we have so many people here that are listening which i'm really thankful for guys um i want to know uh for those of us who are here and hopefully uh for we can inform like everyone who's listening here like should inform their friends after i ask this question all the answers make give them to your friends that aren't, weren't here um are there any tips to keep fighting the good fight like tactic wise formation wise like what makes us good troops like what what is a uh, what is good performance in an event for a troop to to be doing two tactics on three shout out to crazy that's yeah true. crazy <laughs> so you do tactics on three but also the important thing is holding tactics a lot of you would do tactics and it's like it's like you do a tactic and you walk off have a cup of tea <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and then you come back about two tactics later and you're like oh oh where are we what happened don't expose um, so you need to do it and also my my biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve is when um oh no i've got two pet peeves one pet peeve is when people do um eo or eh and they end up saying okay okay hello hello or eb and they just end up saying <laughs> <laughs> i was <laughs> i was gonna say something that i almost skipped over it the chat won't let you get away with it though <laughs> and um just leave me alone that's how i say it okay I... and then your last tip <laughs> Um, oh yeah, my other pet peeve was uh, what was it? Uh, I, oh my god, because you're all doing it about H, I've, got, I've forgotten what I was going to say. This really annoyed me. Um, and uh, it wasn't. I'm trying to think of my own pet peeves. Um, um, there's those people people bunching like, always annoys me, but not getting informed quickly. Do you not? Okay, so basically, you are bunched if you are sat on another penguin. Mm. If a penguin is touching another penguin, you are bunched. You need to have like snow around you, right? Yeah. There's not, you know. Oh, oh I got my other pet peeve. I remember it. It's whenever I say room change, okay, and I won't have actually said maps. Maybe I want to charge. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I want to charge, and I will. I will say maps if I want maps. But a load of people just go maps, right. and then all of a sudden the entire chat is maps, 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 and I'm like, I didn't say maps. Hey, that's a really good tip because I think that a lot of people are just used to pulling it up right away. So hearing yeah. it straight from the RC herself right here. So that's why sometimes you need to actually listen. Who are, and it's not just me, it's whoever's leading. Maybe they want you to charge. Right. So because some people like to do the um, Iron Curtain from Cove. Um, <laughs> and you, so you, you don't know what the leader wants to do. Just because they charge say that iceberg. Change, I was going to say that. Charge iceberg. Mean, 
room two doesn't always mean maps. Yeah. So cool. Thank you. That, that's it. So basically, hold tactics. Keep keep sending them. Apart from Jay, don't spam Jay. Don't have a cup of tea in between tactics. Um, <laughs> don't say maps without a room change. And um, what's the other one? Oh yeah. And make sure to press E then H. Do not say hello. And do not say okay. And do not say goodbye. E then what? You know when you do EB and it ends up saying goodbye. Be careful with tactics. So you've got everyone doing EB and then one person saying goodbye. No, I'm saying she's not going to say H again. You ruined my picture. It's okay, I tried. Um, the okay. uh, other thing is that DMT definitely uh, makes a good point. Check out the top 10 page when it comes out. Um, definitely comment on it, uh, whatever he wants you to do. Plug, plug CPA. CPA is keeping us running. Uh, top us. 10 is good because oh, also if you look at the current top 10 we're number three but that's only because um we had olympics so we didn't have like i think Real it gets then. worked out by, correct me if i'm wrong dmt i think it gets worked out on like quality of formations and stuff like that so we didn't get any tactics or anything added into the thing so yeah there it is yeah Good to know. Um, thank you, Liz, for talking about the invasions, uh, the events a little more. Really interesting stuff to hear. Some more uh, background. I think that some people just participate and don't get a lot of this info, so it's kind of fun to um, really. If you guys start. have any questions, feel free to DM me. I'm I'm bad at replying, but so just keep sending them. I'm not someone who gets annoyed if you keep sending me questions. So yeah, I can. I love to annoy Liz. You should all do it too. <laughs> Uh, DMT can answer questions about CPA if if you need him to, to so yeah. Great. CPA admin are friendly. Um, so we're going to move on. I do want to say before we do, great job, Rebels. Uh, we didn't, we, we won the last two, um, and because of that, uh, without all of you guys attending and participating, we wouldn't be doing as well as we are, and uh, I know that JS and I both feel that um, it's amazing to be part of something this big and strong. Um, we appreciate all of your efforts, and uh, thank you. Yeah, you're thank all you amazing. So fight the good fight. Fight the good fight. Fight the good fight. On the Good Fight Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Mini segment time. Yeah. Next thing we're talking about is, uh, you should all know, we recently had the big emote contest. Um, Participants were allowed to submit up to three emotes, and we had our results in a while ago. Should we talk about those now? Yes. Um, I'm going to say, I'm sorry if this is taking forever. I knew it was going to be longer than an hour. Um, an hour is kind of what we want to shoot for in the future, but uh, as we like get used to doing this and stuff, it's it's going to be a little bit more than uh, what we hope for in the future. Yes. Um, so the... Winners of the email contest, we had three in third place was Beans are 100% human. Um, before I before I go on, uh, we're going to unmute winners if they are here to say a quick piece really fast. Um, you get like a sentence or two, and then I'm going to straight up unmute you just to keep things moving. Um, but uh, we'll ask for, you can say your inspiration for it or um, ex like any shout outs or anything that you want to say real quick. Um, just don't say something dumb. I don't think <laughs> it's my only request. This one. Uh, human's not here, but he he did place in third with his sad cat emote, um, and it was it's a very funny emote. I really like it. I'm sure we'll be using it very soon. Yeah, in uh, in second place was Moon, her emote Perish. I love that name, Perish. Uh, Kirby holding a kitchen knife. It's it was amazing. Um, I think Moon is in class or something right now correct me if i'm wrong crazy i'm sure yeah, yeah. unfortunate that she can't talk but you should definitely dm her and thank her for the wonderful emote wait she's right she's right there what? hold on M moon moon get in the cat <laughs> <laughs> moon, get in oh sad big sad okay that's all right um well we do have one more Oh, she can? Ooh. Guys, stop gaslighting me like this. I'm so torn apart. Tell her to get in quick. We don't want to waste too much time. She doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I, no, no, she said she can't. <laughs> she just said she could. Oh, no. Y'all are confusing. <laughs> she can't, she can't. Yeah, she can't. okay, okay right. never mind then. Why are you always lying? Thank you, Percy. We're, we're organized. Can we get an F in chat for Moon? 
<laughs> yes. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna move on to <laughs> what? She's so confused. Um, we're gonna move on to the first place winner. That was Starship. She won with her binoculars email. I think Chaos is unmuting her right now. Anything you would like to say to your adoring fans? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why did you make the binoculars emote? How about that? Uh, because of the things I kept posting in main chat like this. I'll post it right there. Oh, we get an example. <laughs> Because we got give us binoculars, one. and then I started hiding around Club <laughs> Penguin and screenshotting it. <laughs> That's great. Um, Thank you. Is that from the original? Like, is that how you made it with that one? Oh my no. God. Oh my god. Oh my. God. <laughs> it's there. What is it called? What is it called? What's it called? I see. I see you. Perfect. That's beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> nice. Um, great emote, Star. Thank you so much for submitting that. I'm so glad it's going to be part of the server so soon. If I get, <laughs> he's going to get in trouble. That's great. Cool. Um, yeah. So well, moving done. on. Well done, everyone. Thank you for your submissions. Yeah. And remember, um, there's a new contest out. Uh, I'm sure Mishka will be happy if you enter. Uh, to DM. Uh, yeah, up your fan art, which is is looking cool. Um, yeah, make sure to DM. Heckin' cool. You should what? Heckin' cool. Yeah, it is that. Uh, you can DM your up here fan you. art to anyone with DM contest entries in their nickname. And uh, the contest ends August the 6th, so make sure you get that done. Quote unquote heckin' rad fan art. I want to see all of it. And remember, all of you have the chance to be on an HCOM fridge, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Immortalized. I want to be on a... Alright, this is the last section. We're going to wrap up with Strike Force. Uh, We'll call it a recap or uh, an edumacation session, if you will. Um, and for this, we are going to unmute Strike Force Director Alti Penguin Jur. He's... He actually is has to unmute himself because yeah. he's unserver muted. There we go. What? Thank you. I let it be known I unserver muted myself, and then someone reserver muted me. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to unmute you. Nobody told me. Um, um, anyway, what's up, Alti? It's been a minute. It has been approximately uh, 30 of those. Um, <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. And, uh, glad to be here. What's up? The room. Um, um, so we're going to talk Strike Force. Yeah. So, first things first, could you just explain Strike Force a little? Um, some of us might not know too much about it. So, just what's what's the whole deal? Uh, sure thing. So Strike Force is the newest branch of the RPF, um, which People is are open speaking. To... They want Alti. They want Alti. Uh, I'll 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 let him out of his cage eventually. Um, All right. Uh, Strike Force is the newest branch open to uh, people from the rank specialist up, which we we do more of the battling and. Defenses, invasions, mm -hmm. tournament battles. Uh, shout out to CPA's current uh, summer circuit tournament. All of the, all of the, for, for uh, land on the map that is outside of Club Penguin written. Alrighty. Um, so this makes sense, but what does that mean, like as far as elite force? Like, so only specialists and up can join. What is the reason for that? Like, what is what is different about Strike Force? Um, Strike Force. <laughs> a lot of the things that Liz Liz mentioned in terms of pet peeves uh, are things that uh, pretty much like weekly. I'm trying to have like a, a training or something like that, where it's just like tell you like stuff like, hey, like we're gonna keep doing this until everyone is doing E H, not E H, sorry, E H uh, without saying hello. Uh, or we're gonna do do EB without saying goodbye. I just fell off my chair. Hang on. So this formation like super quickly. <laughs> like tactic, tactics and formations are a lot faster. And cheese is bringing up uh, more right. more yes. tactics that we do we do yeah, than go ahead and talk about that. Those are great. So essentially we uh, essentially we just like keep uh, or formations or things that you won't find out unless you join Strike Force. Oh, that's true. We got. We just got uh, strike force blocked. Is that what I'm looking for? <laughs> strike force blocked. That is the correct term for it. 
Awesome. Yeah. Um, so I also want to add on, like, I think that uh, being part of an elite force for me has been um, really noticing the, like, accuracy of all of our memories. M memories? Okay. <laughs> um, members uh, and all of the, like, speed. Like, I I noticed that Strike Force goes, like, a, a little snappier. So when people join, they should be prepared to, like, be on their game, right? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> being on being on your game is a good way to put it. Uh, part of the reason why why I'd say it's open to specialists and above is because it gives you that time to get acclimated to normal RPF before you take the step to be like, hey, but what if I wanted to do this but faster? Yeah. Alrighty. RPF two electric boogaloo. RPF two electric boogaloo. <laughs> exactly. That's um, great. Um, um, so. It's it's up for specialists and above, and if you're not in it, I recommend you join. What are the sort of things that you can like look forward to if you join? Um, look forward to. Well, I mentioned the uh, uh, Club Penguin Army Summer Circuit, uh, which is a tournament we, we're currently engaged in, uh, which uh, we do two or three two or three battles a week um, against other armies. It's just. Yeah, RPF is currently uh, undefeated in the in the summer circuit, number one in our number one in our bracket. Um, yeah, I better get I better get payment for all this plug for all this uh, plugging I'm doing. <laughs> um, but in addition to in addition to the tournaments, uh, also do all the invasions and defensives that defensives that take place off off of uh, rerun. You know, invading uh, yes defensives, uh, invading uh, servers that are on Club Penguin. PBS.me or Pegasus, uh, which is, you know, my least favorite CPPS, but, you know. Right. Um, what has CPPS. Strike Force been up to since its birth? Because um, is there anything you can tell us about, like, um, like maybe a little more specific, such as, like, f so people who eventually join a specialist even might not know, like, like how many battles we might have had or... Um, how much territory we currently have. Although I did do think DMT did mention that we have, um, I think we're in the teens now or something. Thirteen, I think you said. Um, um, sure thing. So, <laughs> anything interesting that you have to say about what's been going on since the beginning? Um, since the beginning. So, let's see. Without without going into too much detail, you got to got to save something for for people to join. But without without for going sure. into too much detail, just a couple of the past couple of weeks, few weeks, um, has, has been the um, thing I've been running. We got our uh, historical uh, capital of Tuxedo back. Oh yeah, definitely talk about that. Penguin Army's the game. Uh, so Tuxedo has been the RPF capital since like 2007. <laughs> so um, getting that back was something uh, that Liz Liz should be proud of. Uh, got her the, the hero uh, legend role. Uh, hero Hall of Fame role. Um, Congratulations to Liz that, again. Just, uh, aside from that, it's just been uh, getting territories to protect t Tuxedo. For the Tuxedo fan art in the chat, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, Cheese Eater 13. Is that Tuxedo fan art? Wow, look at that. Very cool. Oh, I love that. Yes, it's pinned. Awesome. <laughs> it's old RPF fan art, but you know. Were there any major battles or. Um, I'm trying to think too right now of like strike force battles that were like uh we remember clearly or I know that we've had a couple where uh it's been you know like today where uh we just kind of auto win a little bit um but I know that there have also been some really tense tough battles or like some really interesting tactics that we've seen or something and I don't again I don't want you to share everything so I'm trying to think of what um like it, what kind of thing that you could LG Pookie's saying some things LGA versus CK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not touching that one. Um, oh, oh! I just but... understood. <laughs> touching that one. Um, uh, no, but... never mind of that. Uh, cool tactics. <laughs> everyone, everyone, in the chat, shut up! I'm not. I'm not talking about them. Um... <laughs> so... <laughs> Lose that elicited such a thank you for that mc um i'm really sorry i'm i'm trying so hard right now then no no don't bring up the full acronym there have been a couple there have been a couple events that have <laughs> uh, been a couple events that have been um so <laughs> super 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 tense and come down to like uh 
uh, come down to speed of tactics, speed of formations, um, a lot of which uh, comes when we in, in invade uh, certain uh, servers from the uh, NVA. NVA. We, that we tend to New tend Viking to end Alliance. up fighting. <laughs> New Viking Alliance, yes, tend to end up fighting mm, five or six armies at once. Uh, those those tend to tend to be pretty uh, a lot closer. Uh, right. And it's been a real 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 pleasure to lead. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, that's another thing. How do you personally feel about Strike Force progress, and uh, how has it been like setting it up and and leading it and being basically in charge of your own kind of subsect of things? Um, <laughs> it's been it's been a lot of fun. Um, when I came back, I did intend to help out a little bit. Um, in terms of uh, helping with any administrative stuff that needed doing uh, in RPF, uh, going can I, can uh, I pause a little you real over quick? a month ago. Yeah, um, what? If Pookie wants to be a captain so bad, Liz, can we demote him to captain real quick? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Liz isn't Liz, Liz isn't here to respond. I'm I'm perfectly on board with that though. <laughs> can you can you please? I support that. <laughs> he's so wait wait, 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 wait. He was, Okay. I support demote. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> he was the only uh, strike force captain, and because he wants to be a captain so bad, for one time only, right here, folks, fight the good fight. <laughs> okay, we can leave him as that for the duration of the podcast, yeah? That's good, yeah. Sounds good. All right, Alti, you can continue. I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't remember where I was. I just had to make, make Pookie a, a captain real quick, but... Um, oh, since since the beginning, it's been it's been a it's been a journey. Like uh, Strikeforce started out <laughs> maxing about uh, I, I want to say around like eight to ten, uh, and then building that building that up, uh, getting people to join from there to where we're now That's maxing so about twenty five. Think about twenty five is pretty pretty impressive. Twenty five on a good day, eighteen eighteen average, I would say. I would say considering we have over 300 people online in this server, thinking of it as being only 8 to 10 is a crazy number. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, do you guys, like, like I imagine that, like, Strike Force is very business, and I think that people, you know, worry about how important it is, but do you guys tend to, you know, break the tension? Is it a fun chat and stuff like that? Um, you guys, well, I said considering the last, the last thing that's happened in that chat was arguing uh, over whether or not uh, Brit Brits spell words the correct way with the letter U. <laughs> um, I'd say it's I'd say it's pretty good. <laughs> um, so Treyasha might be able to speak more to that than I can. Okay. It's spelled with a U, guys. It has a U in it. It's not spelled with a U. Oh, okay, buddy. Um, I think you need to calm down. You <laughs> TBT to Liz saying E H just a little bit ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. Do you have anything else that you would like to add before we move? Well, we close up, I guess. Um, let's see. Yes. Oh, um, Higher. Mima would, or no, Mima. Yeah, Mima would like me to clarify that we have ten servers, not thirteen. Um, and there was just a miscount. We accident. He there was an accidental addition to uh our our amount because we counted some miles. The federation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we we actually they accidentally counted uh, wild ninjas uh, as well. But we are not the wild ninjas. But we are both. I think our colors are both black, right? Yeah. All right, it's a darker shade of black, <laughs> <laughs> which is very easy to tell apart. It's especially for me. Um. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna r uh, wrap up by saying if you are a specialist or above, uh, feel free to if you are interested joining Strike Force. Uh, Feel free to talk to any of the people who feel like uh, are in it. You can you can get a lot of opinions, especially from your both of your both of your uh, co -seer, co hosts here. Yeah, I really like Strike Force. Um, it, it is like an extra commitment, but like I think a lot of people are scared to join because of you know the pressure. But I do think that Alti is not like expecting that much he just wants people to let him know beforehand if they can't make it and you know irl still comes irl i just said it out loud real life still comes first um it doesn't change anything um like if you join strike force it's still a priority and um we have a really good time in there. Also, um being part of strike force actually makes your personal internet safety stronger because we teach you how to 
fine. Um, so it's actually a good thing to join. Anyway, yeah. yeah, that's what I say. It's a very good point. Um, we do have cer certain specific requirements and, and people are very helpful in there. We're not gonna like ditch you and leave you on your own to figure it out either. I think uh, one of my favorite things about Strike Force is that we get to see like our army in its prime. We get to see like pristine tactics and amazing forms and it's just, it, we look amazing. My first Strike Force event was amazing. Like I remember almost crying because of how beautiful, like I was literally like tearing up and like also laughing out of joy because of how like beautiful all the tactics looks like. And that sounds so stupid and nerdy, but I will say that um, I, I was just, sometimes I just get emotional, okay? Um, but shut up, Pookie. I just, um, I just have like this, OCD that's not actual OCD and um it was just so nice to see us all be so efficient and cooperative um and and just like Alti is a, an awesome leader um Liz is an awesome leader when she jumps in as well and it, it's just really uh, a really good bonding experience what'd you say Liz? Dabs. <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> Um, yeah, but you also get to work much more closely with Alti, and he's awesome, so definitely join. And I'm, uh, I also, hope, Alti, after we leave, you have a billion DMs. Um, we'll see, but I do know that uh, I've been seeing this in the chat a lot, uh, so thank you guys for, for joining Strike Force. I'm glad a lot of you are enjoying it, um, and I hope you keep enjoying it. Thank you for telling us more, coming here and chatting. Really excited to see new members. Yeah. I, yeah, DM me if you're interested. That's great. Bye, Alti. Thank you for your time. Um, and keep fighting the good fight. And good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah, good luck to Strike Force in general. Good luck to myself because I'm in Strike Force. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. uh, so I, yes, I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna close now. Yeah, um, that's. This is this has been a wild ride. Yeah, that that does conclude the first episode of the Good Fight podcast. What, so I I want you guys to know that when I wrote I have a script, but the script we is very loose, of course, for a podcast. Um, and when I wrote it, I said we're we're amazed by the turnout, and I put in parentheses, God, I hope that's what I get to say. And I'm really really happy because I get to say it, and I mean it. That makes me so happy. Thank you all for coming in here and listening. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, great to have you all all show up and listen. It's, it's good fun. This has been super, super lit. <laughs> um, I hate myself for saying it that way. Um, I do want to say um, I don't play it right now, but I'm, I am going to have Pookie play the theme right at the end um, just so that we can uh, wrap up and people can hear me first. But after, after that, he is welcome to uh, add that in there. Um, and uh, Yes. In addition to that, uh, we also want you guys to send us any or all feedback that you can. So um, you can send any suggestions, ideas, constructive criticism, and it's like, don't please don't DM us with insults. We're doing our best. Um, and this was a lot to put together. Like I spent like six hours last night throwing together a script. So um, it's a lot of work. Um, if we have Updates. Shut up, Biffer. I don't care what you meet saying. And see, this sucks. Um, it's so bad. Oh. It was awesome, and you are, you're a liar. Um, and uh, <laughs> so, and other. So we'll we'll have updates about other podcast related content. Um, I have we have a lot of ideas, and hopefully we can expand this a little bit and see. We'll see what happens. Um, you should also DM us positive criticism because we're gonna put all of this together. And depending on all of that positive criticism, depends on like will influence like you know, whether we go on or feel like we can expand more. So, um, and Alti will never be featured again <laughs> because he just decided. <laughs> um, That's great. Yeah, so we, we, we're going to look forward to responses and hopefully we can implement any ideas you have or, you know, get all that stuff sorted out. Ideas and suggestions, please. Yes, yeah, ideas and suggestions. Yes, you can also, yeah, put them in suggestions as well. I'm, I'm down for that. And um, also, like... A massive thank you to um, the original Good Fight podcast creators, uh, you know, Twitchy543, Moondog, and those other featured guests they had on their original one. And uh, just thank you for letting us carry this on using the Good Fight name. Uh, it's been great. So with that in mind, 
we'll see you next time. Yeah. Uh, fight the good fight. Fight the good fight. We out.